My husband and his entire family hid a medical emergency from me. Two days ago I opened a bill in the mail to find my husband had apparently had a two-day hospital stay from COVID in which he had a mini stroke. I was out of town and he and his parents hid this from me. When I asked his mom the reason she didn't call me she said they wanted to protect my fragile mental state. I suffer from anxiety and OCD but I deserve to know things like this he told me I was being dramatic about being upset and again that he was protecting me. So now I'm staying at my sister's and have no idea what to do. I didn't think he was capable of lying like this and now I don't feel like I can trust him again. Apparently his whole family thinks I'm crazy. His sisters knew and didn't tell me either. What the hell do I do? Edit thank you so much to the probably men in my private messages telling me I'm insane and my husband deserves a calm woman. Also to the people on this post calling me crazy. May you find something better to do with your day. And what are his follow-up care plans? How would you know to look out for future events? My ex had a mini stoke a year or so after our divorce. I'm not sure he was in and out of hospital and treatment for diabetes and high blood pressure and other stuff including opiate overuse. He died last year at 48 yo after he had been in a nursing home for over a year after the stroke. Wasn't so many and affected his thinking, speaking, and memory. Our kids were 25 moderate severely autistic and 14. Friend. Have you considered your OCD and anxiety may be additionally triggered by the way he's treating you? I'd wager this cycle is present in other aspects of your relationship where he is not doing the right thing but then blames the diagnosis to evade responsibility. It's not right that he didn't tell you and it's worse to double down by blaming you. Good luck on this and take care of yourself. Op. Perhaps your anxiety will be greatly improved if you did not have to deal with such unreasonable people all the time. If you truly demonstrated behavior that gave them pause, they should have sat you down and talked about their concerns once your husband was out of trouble. That would have been a respectable way. Instead they were dismissive. You deserve better. Fellow OCDER here. People really don't understand that when dealing with OCD you can't lie. It makes it worse because now you are obsessing over what are you missing. For me at least. I'm sorry this happened and I realize that they were trying to be helpful. But I'd be livid my husband's family is a hiding family. They don't want to upset the apple cart. They didn't tell his sister when his grandma died. Because she lived overseas and they didn't want to upset her. She is now very distrustful of them and rightfully so. I spent years of therapy dealing with trust issues because my family wouldn't tell me shit to protect me. Instead I thought I was going crazy because whenever I asked why something was very obviously wrong, I was treated like I was imagining things. I literally thought I had psychosis because no one is that good at keeping secrets. You hear conversations. Get told conflicting lies. See medical bills in the mail. Because of the denial I thought I was seeing and hearing things that weren't there. People like this give you anxieties. Stay away from them. Something else to consider is whether he has given his parents POA to make medical decisions rather. Than you and hasn't told you. That's weird. Dude. You are his wife. What if he had fucking died? So, a question you might want to ask your husband are you even legally his medical proxy or did he appoint someone else? If he didn't appoint someone else, how did he think you might respond if you suddenly had to make a huge medical decision with no prior information about him? I am sorry you find yourself in a situation where you can't trust your own husband to keep you informed about his health take care red heart. Ask him point blank whether your marriage is a partnership or you are just his parent's daughter in law. Partners always come first. If he hid something like this, 
What else could they have been hiding from you? I wouldn't trust them anymore and divorce would definitely be on my mind. Together in sickness or health, not hidden and secret. Him being admitted into the hospital without someone telling you what's going on is not acceptable. What were they going to do if he died? I really don't understand this. What if there were complications? Would they lie about that too? They lied to you. What could be more anxiety provoking than thinking your husband and his whole family doesn't trust you with the truth? If they thought they were sparing you, they weren't. I've had a relationship like that, where I wasn't allowed into medical issues despite having been together for four years at that point. I'm sorry to say that it was a pretty clear sign that the end of the relationship was near. Because if we couldn't see each other as capable people who we wanted by our respective sides in a bad situation, then really it was already over. Massive red flag. His family is one thing. Whatever I guess. But he should have absolutely told you about this. Marriage is a partnership. You're supposed to be there for each other. How is having a mini stroke not weighing on him to the point he would want to tell you about it? Besides that, you have every right to know about it as his partner. Anxiety and OCD be damned. My dad was getting a pacemaker put in and he didn't want to tell me because he didn't want me to. Worry I do tend to worry. But I do not have anxiety. My mom finally convinced him to tell me well. She called and told me and he was just with her on and I'm so glad she did because I would have. Been doubly upset if the surgery went wonky and I wasn't even aware of him going under the knife. Yes. I was feeling tense and scared until he came out of surgery. But I'll take that feeling over what I would have felt if things went south. The issue here is your partner isn't sharing with you. Relationships are a partnership. Withholding things and deciding to take care of them himself disregards your input and is actually pretty disrespectful yet probably done from a place of care. Tell him what you need. This was a violation of your relationship. Not calling immediately I can understand but just never telling you ever and going on like nothing. Happened forever? What the fuck? What else did they hide? Having mental health disorders and having a fragile mental state are very different and far apart. Things. The eye roll in your story is a contemptuous behavior. Meaning you expressed totally valid feelings to your spouse and he held you in contempt. I would get yourself into marriage counseling. Invite your husband. If he won't go, go by yourself. Hope it works out. Your husband doesn't trust you. Your in-laws don't trust you. Your trust is irrevocably broken. This is when you burn it all to the ground up. My little sister had a mini stroke in front of me and it was terrifying. If my family had hid it from me, I would have been livid. I think your reaction is justifiable. My family do this time and again. Despite my protests not to. I would be incredibly upset if my partner did what happens if something goes wrong and you aren't. There with them? It's an awful and disgusting thing to do to someone you supposedly love. I think this is like any other major lie. And it leads to very calmly re-evaluating what your relationship is and what it means. Also separating your finances. And obtaining all your important documents. Lies in one place or lies in others. And send him this thread if it were me it would be with divorce papers. But that is entirely your call. If he and his entire family are willing to completely lie to you about major events and downplay it. When you find out. It's not a good sign. While I support individuals have their right to privacy. They swung the pendulum into the wrong to make it your fault. If they had said it was his choice to be private then so be it. If he chooses to be private. And he chooses to tell you I didn't tell you because I have these feeling about being. Private or these concerns about our joint relationship. That's one thing. But no. WTF to him saying it's your fault. 